We're answering all of your health questions, no matter how awkward they may be, like this one from Rachel in Houston who writes, my seven-year-old walked in on my husband and me getting it on, and I'm mortified. What the heck do I do now? Welcome to the club. <laughs> Drew, did this ever so we're, we're when going. Your kids were growing up? Yes, it happened. But you know, we got pretty good about locking the door. Yeah. But you know, the, we got walked in by a friend. We were in his backyard, and he and he came, it was like during the day, and he and he walked in. And, wait, and you were in his backyard? You were yes. in his backyard. In the Hamptons, yes. <laughs> yes. His backyard. Yeah, it's not. We were guests, yes, and yeah. he was out. And, <laughs> So how does how does that like good. how does that hey you all ready for happy hour? <laughs> oh no, just let me know He's when. Like, hey, I'm home. <laughs> oh no, okay. But I, I walked into my parents and just sort of walked out, like knowing that you weren't supposed to be there. Yeah. Smooth operator. Make Nothing big, to see here. Didn't make a big deal about it. Doctor Baca, your, have your kids ever walked in? You know we're so. Paranoid that we yeah, yeah lock we lock the door. <laughs> We're like surveying. Is it are they ever? Me? But are they ever? <laughs> do they ever bang on it? Like hey yes. mom no, dad. I will say that. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah, but I mean honestly, I think I think if they whenever we have now I'm I have a ten year old who's in fifth grade and we actually just had to go to this workshop together at her school, and they know a lot more than you think. I mean it was really eye opening <laughs> going there with a bunch of fifth graders. Now they're walking and go. I know what hey. you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, uh, they're not, they're not a... Uh, which is, which is probably a good thing, yeah. and I want to bring into this conversation via the phone, parenting expert and author of Get the Behavior You Want Without Being the Parent You Hate, Dr. Deborah Gilboa joins us, because Dr. Hi, G... Dr. G. Let's let's hey get back everybody. to the the original question, which is obviously parents can be mortified. So how do you approach that conversation with your kid after they've walked in on you? <laughs> well, the first thing I want to say is don't panic. You did not break your child. Most <laughs> every adult has a story about this when they were a kid, and this isn't damaging. But you know, the second thing that you really want to remember is don't lie. Lying to kids, you know, especially about like big important topics like this will almost always come back to bite you. And when you lie to your kids about this, you're sending either the message that sex is really shameful and you do not discuss it, or that it's okay to lie rather than to be embarrassed. All right, so, so we're going to be so honest. Don't say you were playing leapfrog or something like that. <laughs> right. So I was helping him look for a quarter. No, we're not. We're not going to go with that. Now, okay. So you've got a you got a seven year old barges in. How do you start that uncomfortable conversation? Okay. So if your seven year old comes in, you don't. I don't want you to lie, but you don't have to be totally transparent. You can be honest without giving every graphic detail. You can say something general, like um, like we were cuddling especially if they did not see you with the covers off and the whole deal. Uh, you know, if you've already explained even a tiny bit about what sex is, you could be honest like this. Hey, remember we told you about sex? That's what we were doing. And just leave it at that. Mm, I like that. Those are some parents tips. feel that it's really shocking to tell the kids the truth and not make up some really adorable lie, but, but it's important because we want our kids to bring us their questions about sex as they got older, not only think that their friends have all the answers. And, and I think you're right. I think kids realize it when you're lying and it comes back and it bites you because they remember right. everything you say and then they also become embarrassed and they, do, they okay. realize that you're right. not comfortable. Especially so about they these topics. To they may not realize yeah. it right then, but they'll realize it in retrospect. Um, but I do think the advice you guys gave about getting a lock for that door is also really valuable. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Dr. G, before we let you go, a lot of different opinions on this. Do you believe there's a proper age or the best age to have the talk? So there's the talk that your kiddo brings you or the talk that you bring to your kiddo. And I would say you should be ready for the question about where babies come from or how that baby got in that woman's belly by often four, five, six years old mm -hmm. and understand what you want to say first. But if you haven't talked to your child about it at all by third grade, they are going to be learning it only from their peers. So you want to give them a little bit of factual information before then and then just see if they have a follow-up question. If they don't, that's fine. They might not feel comfortable and they'll just move past it, but if they're curious and they're ready to talk, answer their questions, you know? I love it. Yeah. Always such good advice. Thanks so much, Dr. G. Thank you.